Hello, Zebra Herd! Today we adventure through the Universal Studios theme park in the Minecraft Universal Studios Experience DLC. Throughout this video, we'll be meeting iconic characters such as Woody Woodpecker, Shrek, and E.T., as well as trying all of the exciting rides. So let's get started! So we are about to enter the exciting world of Universal Studios. On our side, we can see different, uh, I guess, movie posters of all the different movies and stuff that Universal Studios has made and put into this theme park. So, whoa, look at this, the grand opening. We have made it to Universal Studios. Guess who? Welcome to my sweet, sweet home, Universal Studios. You will have the pleasure of being introduced to this blocky wonderland by the great and magnificent Woody Woodpecker. That's me. Before I leave it to your own devices, delightful or diabolical, well, I'm going to walk this way and I hope that you follow. While I walk so that I don't look any more insane and, 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 and crazy than everyone already thinks I am. While you're here, you'll get a chance to meet a bunch of my buddies from the studio, like this handsome adventure type that's hanging out in front of the Museum of Antiquities, or that Velociraptor trainer down next to the Jurassic World ride, and that scientist guy with the time traveling car who's probably even loopier than I am. And if the friendly and fabulous faces aren't enough, we've got everything else you could want. We've got rides to give you thrills. We've got restaurants where you can satisfy your hunger. We've got shops that sell neato merch. And we've got this big globe thing that's conspicuously missing the ginormous letters that are normally circling it. Uh, okay, you got me. It's not supposed to be like that at all. Huh, so I guess something's happened to the Universal Studios globe. You see, friend, someone nabbed all the letters that normally spell it universal for those visitors who somehow haven't figured out where they are yet. <laughs> Interesting. You know something? I heard there's an extraterrestrial, you know as E.T., looking for the Universal Studios globe letters. He probably wants to share what it looks like to it with his friends back home. I bet he'll show up if you help us fix it. He may even have a gift for you too. Whoa. To get you started, I stumbled across this one while I was pecking into a hollow tree. Didn't think I'd find one tucked away in there. You can also come chat with me anytime if you want some friendly advice. Otherwise, everyone here has been looking forward for those letters, so if you ask around, I bet someone will be able to point you in the right direction. Just try not to get lost in time or eaten while you're looking. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's his like his signature. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. So very glad I haven't seen a Woody Woodpecker cartoon in so long. So I can talk to you again? Well, look who it is. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Can I help you with anything? Or are you just here to see little old me? So I guess we can see different things here. For now, we'll leave it be and we'll just take a look around ourselves. You can see the park map here. Whoa, it's huge. Oh man. So we have things like Hollywood, New York, San Francisco, Amity Island, Hill Valley, Lower Lot, Jurassic World, Skull Island. There's places to go all over the place. And I'll be trying my best to get to as many of them as possible. You can see on the map, we're right here. So if we go to, I guess, number one over here, we can go to the ET Adventure. So we're currently in the Hollywood area. So cool. Hi, Woody. Um, whoa. <laughs> okay, so I'll wanna go, I guess, over here? Is that what I was trying to say? Yeah, okay, so if we go down this way, we're sort of in this big plaza. We'll have to find all of those letters, but to do that, let's head over here and, whoa, is that Frankenstein? Universal Studios Classic Monster Cafe. Cafe. Hi. Oh, hey, a flower, thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet. Hi. Oh, and I guess we could buy things. Bride of the Frankenstein mini cake. Whoa, cool, can I eat this? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I was hungry, that's so cool. And here's uh, Dracula. Nice to meet you. Uh, so uh, can I go inside of this one? Oh, I'm so curious. Uh, where is it? Universal Hollywood Wine and Dine, or no? I, I don't know. Monster Cafe. Yeah, there it was. Uh, can I go inside though? Is the question. Oh, whoa! I found one of the letters. So we found the S to Universal Studio behind the door of the Universal Studios Classic Monster Cafe. So now I want to find the E T ride, if possible. That's what has me curious, so that might be, whoa, over here, and some of these might be actual rides we can go on. E.T. Adventure, hi. Can I just go in? I guess so. What does it say? 
Caution automatic doors. Please stand clear. All right. And then we go inside. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, hello. So it's just sort of so showing like little ET thing there. Oh, this is so neat. Whoa, ET adventure. Can I just open it up? They open up automatically, so we just have to be patient here. I think I really remember riding this ride when I was very, very young. So I don't know if we have to do anything to, oh, wait, this way? Isn't this the way we came in from? I'm not sure. Maybe we just gotta keep watching. Hello. You Oh, hi. I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the E.T. adventure. But I'm afraid we don't have much time, so I'm gonna cut right to the chase. E.T. needs your help. Now, we've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Botanicus, calling for E.T. to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet. E.T.'s friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like because it's gonna be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get him home, and there's not a moment to lose. Because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring his planet back to health. E.T. must go home, and only you can help him. Ah, E.T. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're gonna get you back to the green planet? You and E.T. will be making your three million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave with E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants, and they'll give you your pass. Oh. Sounds like E.T.'s ready to go. So good luck, everyone. And remember, E.T.'s counting on you, and so am I. Oh. It's up to you to save his planet so that he may visit us again. All right. Well, there we go. Let's go help out E.T., uh, by going this way. Oh, here it goes. This is just like the ride. This is so crazy. Well, you can see all these ET pictures and, oh, I have my, my little passport. Thank you very much. So I guess I go this way. The adventure begins. And it's just sort of like the amusement park. We go through here. Whoa, no fire, no camping. Please stay on the nature trail. You can see some astronauts looking for ET. If you've never seen the movie, it's an, it's an alien that's crash landed on Earth. Jackson Spring, as well as a picnic area over here. Remove the, nothing from the forest. Oh, there he is. Or maybe that's one of E.T.'s friends. Whoa. And uh, what's going on up here? Interesting. Jackson Springs. So I gotta interact with the team member to start the E.T. adventure. We'll do that in just a moment. Whoa, and you get to board the ride just like at the, the theme park. All right, we gotta pick a seat. I'll go for the front. I think that makes sense. We'll just sit here. Do I just stand here? I think I just stand here. All right, I'm on the green one. Whoa, all pets welcome, keep out. <laughs> We're going. Uh-oh, trouble. Yeah, E.T.'s right there. Uh, We've got some unauthorized people entering the base. Wait, they got E.T. Oh no, NASA's chasing after us. They're getting away. Unit three, cut them off. Oh no, not good. We see them, they're coming at us. Whoa, <laughs> ah, we lost them. They're headed towards the mobile four. Maybe this way. Drive straight. I see him, let's go. Oh no, they're chasing after us. Whoa, there's the truck. Gotta keep flying through the forest. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh oh, whoa, where are we going? Watch out. We're trying to get over here. Hoss, hold it right there. Oh no, they're chasing after us. You're under, whoa. All right, keep going, keep going. Got him, bottom of the hill. Oh no, not good. Dead end, we're going through the bush. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Fly home, ET's making the bike fly. This is awesome, here we go. Whoa, watch it, they're getting away. Look, they're flying. Whoa, we're over the city. This is so cool. So you can see just all sorts of different parts of the city, the park down there, the tall buildings. We're so high up. Wow, and you can see our little silhouette on the moon. <laughs> that's the coolest part. Oh man, that's so cool. It looks like we're going over here now. Whoa, let's get through here. Phone, home. Whoa, we're going quick. Are we gonna go to ET's planet? I guess we are. 
Wow! Look at this! We have ET's friends! This is wonderful. Hi there! ET, go to Tickly. Hurry! All right. Looks like we're going down this way then. ET, go home. Oh, here's some more. Tickly, ouch. Welcome home, hehe, <laughs> you've returned to us. Orbadon, oh, over here. Welcome home, you've arrived. Oh, uh, cool. What about over here? Magdal, you have saved our planet. Come, celebrate with us. Whoa, it's a big ET celebration. Look at all these fancy plants. Hi. I can't tell which one's ET anymore. They're all so cute though, even though they are a little creepy. This is crazy. One of them stuck. I'm glad everybody is saved. Looks like we're going over here now. Uh, whoa. Okay. So it looks like over here, we got more people just hanging out. I don't think there's anything I'm supposed to do on this ride for like it being like interactive. I'm just supposed to sort of enjoy the show. There's ET again. You can see because of the glowy finger. <laughs> Hi. Goodbye, Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye. It's cool that they say our name. All right, we did it. We were able to go through and save ET. What an awesome ride. And look at this, we're heading back. Whoa. We did it. Oh, look at that. What an exciting trip that was. All right, so I guess we're just slowly loading back and we can head out of here. So that was our first ride here at Universal Studios. There is still so much more to experience. We got our ET passport, I'll put it over here as like a little memento, but I probably just wanna keep all my letters here. Missing globe letter S, and we'll exit through here. Oh, we're in the gift shop, that's so cool. So you can buy all these little ET things, so adorable. And I could also, I could buy an ET t-shirt, ET, or Elliot sweater, Little cat, little plush doll. There we go. Can I actually put these on? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. You can have the little ET shirt. Let's put on the sweater and the cat. Look at me. We're spending all of our money at the gift shop. Let's see what else we can do around here. So, at Hollywood. We just went through the ET adventure. There's the Universal Plaza, which is what we were sort of running through before. Um, we also have the Universal Studio store. And then uh, the ET toy closet, I think is what we just walked through. Uh, the Hollywood and Dine is C. So we should probably go to each area just to make sure there's not any other letters we need to find. So let's get to it. It was right down here. Yeah, there's also Woody again. Woody the Woodpecker. Hi. Yep. Uh, uh, Whoa, 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 you're a quick one. All right, so maybe I can go inside here, take a look just to make sure it's not a letter. Hi guys, you guys sell food? You do, wow. They have the whole menu here. Looks delicious. Uh, Over here, so this was the Hollywood dining area. But if we take a look at the map again, we also have the, yeah, the Hollywood and Dine, and then, or that was the Universal Studios store maybe? No, no, no. I was right, it was Hollywood and Dine. Let's try over here then. This is the Universal Studio store. Wow, so we have even more uh, gifts and goodies over here, including Woody Woodpecker stuff. Hi, so do you have anything I want? We got the Woody the Woodpecker t-shirt, the tram tour t-shirt, what are these? A balloon? What do I do with the balloon? Whoa, that's cute, I can just hold it. <laughs> We got all the all the tourist stuff. So maybe I can uh, switch over to this tram tour t-shirt or the Woody the Woodpecker shirt. There we go. This is so neat. I'm not seeing any hidden letters over on this side. I'll check that side of the shop before we continue exploring more of the park. But so far, this has been great. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much over here either. Plenty of gifts to get. 
And whoa, I didn't see this before. Looks like it's just, you know, a film crew, but as a statue, that's so neat. And I guess this must be the exit of the place when we want to go home. Hi. But I'm not ready to go just yet. We still have a whole bunch of exploring to do around here. So that was E.T. Adventure, Universal Plaza. I think we're good with Hollywood. We can move on to the next area to the right is New York. So with New York, we have Revenge of the Mummy, Mummy Universal City Sets, Sahara Traders, Finnegan's Bar and Grill, and Louie's Bar and Grill. Let's go check it out. So right down this way, we enter the bustling streets of New York, and with it, there should be a couple of locations we wanna to get to. So the first one's gonna be the F location, which is Finnegan's Bar and Grill. And I don't spend too much time here, so I just wanna to try to find a way in, if possible. <laughs> Maybe down here? Oh, it seems like it. it's like down this alleyway. That's neat, I think at the least. There's not too much going on up here. Maybe I can climb up here, this fire escape? No, I can't go down there. Weird, I'm a little confused on where the bar and grill is. Where am I now? Maybe I didn't go down far enough. That might've been the case. Just trying to find the bar and grill. Oh, here we go. So Finnegan's Bar and Grill. This is so cool, actually, whoa. And I definitely just wanna take a look inside to see if there's any kind of letters we can find. Uh, you have just like some different foods here. A soda, ooh, tasty. Can't open up that. But, can look over here. More of the same food. So if we're hungry, we can swing by here. Oh, which there actually is hunger here. I'm just now realizing. So I could eat up some of the food that we had before, like the uh, thing right here. Yep, eat that up. It looks like I might need a little bit more. So we can get potato and onion web. Sure. <laughs> there you go. And then uh, taking a look around again, we have E somewhere here, which is going to be Sahara Traders. That sounds like it could be fun. Right over here. So can we go inside of this one? Oh, wow. So what is this about? I guess it's maybe more like the Frankenstein and stuff like that. That's very cool. It's the Curse of the Mummy, too. Whoa. We got the little black cat plush, Revenge of the Mummy t-shirt, the Frankenstein t-shirt. I will try a Frankenstein the Frankenstein t-shirt. Uh, right there? Cool. Anything else to do around here? Exit only. Oh, you know what, yeah, this is gonna be the exit to one of the rides. So, I guess we should focus on going to the rides first most of the time. Whoa, Revenge of the Mummy, the Museum of Antiques. Hi. So I guess we have some of the characters from the movie out here too. Whoa, whoa. Scary. Hi. So it looks like we go this way to start this ride off. Uh, no fireworks on the set, whoa. So Revenge of the Mummy entrance. What is this though? That's something else, Book of the Dead Chamber. Uh, it sounds like there's something going on. I guess we go this way? Whoa. Who <laughs> got this carriage in here? Cool. Whoa. And it looks like we're just in an ancient Egyptian tomb. We gotta go this way. Luckily, we're the only person here, so no lines, no waiting. What is that? Whoa. Oh, it's getting spooky in here, though. Trolley system in upper chamber. Okay. Guess we're going upstairs. Whoa, look at this, the giant statue. I think we've made it. Yes, we have. All right, let's pick a seat. I'll go in the middle this time. I feel like that's the best place for it. Let's get ready. I don't know, really remember this movie. I don't know if I've ever seen it. <laughs> I've seen E.T., but I don't know if I've seen Revenge of the Mummy. Yes, you know, either way, we'll be able to go in here and see what it's all about. Uh, so we got all these hieroglyphics everywhere. Look at this. So with this one, oh my. Uh, looks like we have all these different skeletons and bones. Just spooky, there's a lot of skeletons on here. Uh oh. Look for the Magi symbol. It's your only home. Silence. With your souls, I shall rule for all eternity. Oh no. This is scary. <laughs> Take our souls. That's not good. Is it behind us now? Whoa. Ah! Over 
so cool. Alright, what's going on? Whoa, we're moving, we're moving. Down this way? Oh man. The curse of the mummy. What do we do now? Whoa, whoa, the scarabs! They're everywhere, bag it up! <laughs> the creepy crawlies! Oh, whoa, 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 we're going backwards and downwards, that's scary. Whoa. Spooky ghosts! We gotta get out of here before he steals our souls. This is too much. Whoa! There's so many of them. This is so crazy. Whoa! I thought. Oh. I thought we made it. It was a trick. We're not done. Oh no! Where are we going? This ride's only getting started. Oh man. Ah! Oh, it was scary. Oh, we did it. I. I guess we made it. Just one last escape there. I don't know if he's supposed to be talking. I can't hear him, but. He got attacked by the mummy too. Nobody is safe from the mummies, apparently. Wow, what an experience. That was so much fun. All right, we made it. I don't think I can go over there. Yeah, that's where we started, right over that way. Whoa, production notes. Cool. So I guess we're heading over here, but before I do, hold on, uh, I can't go that way. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to find any potential letter because the, other one, the only one we found was behind a door. Oh, and then here's the gift shop. So yeah, we did a pretty good job exploring all that. That was a ton of fun. So I'll just jump over. <laughs> Maybe not the safest thing to do, but it saves me a moment of walking around. There we go. So yeah, let's take a look around. That was more of New York. It looks like we still have maybe Louis Bar and Grill, which if we go forward, and then there's also Universal City sets. Whoa, neat. So let's keep it moving. Right down this way. I think so. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything just yet. But, uh. Okay, right on this corner, we have something. What is this? Louis Bar and Grill? Gelat gelato ice cream. That's pretty good. Hi. So, oh, we got pizza here too. Milkshakes? Delicious. Got a cheesecake as well. And the ice cream but nothing really to grab for now. All right, pulling up the map one more time, because I passed the uh, Universal City sets. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but if it's something to check out, I wanna take a look. I guess it might be down here. I just wanna walk around with the map open. I mean, it might just be what we're standing in, you know, just this whole general area. Hard to tell. All right, so it looks like we can maybe explore more of San Francisco this time. As you can see, we're up here. At this one, I sort of wanna just look through and see if there's maybe more of the, the rides that jump out at me, because there's a lot of stuff to explore here. Um, the earthquake is over here. What is the earthquake then? Can I like click this to do anything? I guess, not. whoa, wait a minute, I can make a marker. Whoa, I can just teleport to it this whole time? Huh, okay, so let's pull that back up and go to what was the earthquake? The earthquake was six. That's gotta be a ride, for sure. So we'll go right there, if it lets me. Oh, I can just go, there's like quick travel locations. I see. Is this the earthquake? I don't think so. It's like a little train station. Huh. This is supposed to be the earthquake. I'm a little confused. Huh, is the earthquake a ride? 
Hi. Oh, you just sell stuff. Okay. Hmm. Over here we have, I guess, Earthquake Burgers. Oh, was that it? I don't know. Doesn't seem right, but I don't see anything else to do around here, so I'll keep looking around, but maybe it's something else. We got a lot of places to eat, but, oh, maybe if I just walk up to it. Will that actually open the doors or something? Nope. <laughs> Unless it's on the other side, I'm a little confused. So I couldn't quite find the earthquake, but what I did find was the Back to the Future ride. Hi, we got the dock over here. I figure we'll just explore around and we'll just try to get this done then. So, dock on the march. Well, looks like we gotta go this way then. I might also need to eat some food here. We're starving. So to Doc's Underground Laboratory, to the Back to the Future ride, that's what I want. This is so cool. All right, so I think this is one I also maybe have ridden when I was really young, but I can't really remember. Uh, let's see, we're going over this way. Got all these TVs all over the place, we're heading in. Now, before I send you on your journey through time, I have a few things to show you. Oh, Here, really? At the Institute for Future Technology, my crowning achievement, the new experimental eight passenger, Time travel vehicle. Ooh. It's this baby that will send you across the space time continuum one day into the future. What was that? Hailey. Oh, hey. <laughs> ah, not good. What's that, Hailey? You see some. Ooh! Great Scott, it seems we have an intruder alert. Not good. All sectors report in immediately. Quadrant one, check in. Quadrant one, locked and secured, Doc. Level two, check in. Level two, locked and secured, Doc. Section three, check in. Section three, locked and secured, Doc. Zone four, check in. Zone uh -oh. four, do you copy? <laughs> I'm a buckhead. <laughs> Jump and jiggle box. It's Biff. I'm sorry, folks. We've got problems. There's only one troublemaker who can throw a monkey wrench in the works like this. Biff Tannen. Oh no. Juvenile delinquent. Graduated Hill Valley High School, class of 1955. 1955? There's something very strange going on around here. At any rate, stay alert. If Tannen gets his hands on some of the equipment around here at the Institute, it could mean the end of the very universe as we know it. Anyway, Enjoy the rest of your visit. All right, well. We are currently experiencing minor security difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience. Now, if my assumption is correct, Biff must have entered the complex diabolically disguised as one of you. It's only a matter of time before we catch that one of us. Liquid, so don't worry. I need. Watch the monitors. Chow time. Chow time. Oh. Chow time. Chow time. <laughs> Chow time. Chow Hello? Time. Hello? Anybody home? Huh? What are you looking at, butthead? Wait a second. You're the suckers Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment. You know, some of Doc Brown's guinea pigs never make it back. <laughs> uh oh. I'm not saying you shouldn't volunteer. I just hope the Doc's making it worth your while. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I can make it worth your while. That is, if you help me find Doc Brown's time machine. What's the matter, chicken? There's no way Doc Brown's gonna stop me now. Excuse me. I gotta finish my repair work. <laughs> so he's destroying the place. Even That's not we good. Have a little security problem on our hands. We must prepare you for temporal displacement. That's time travel to you. Perhaps this demonstration will suffice. Whoa. Oh no. Let's hope we don't fall the off the table. Time continuum is tricky business. Believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this. My ultimate scientific achievement. The new eight passenger time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient. And it's a convertible. I figure if you know what the weather is going to be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? But it's only for those who take time travel 
very seriously. And that means you. But remember, this is all top secret. With Talon on the loose, we can't afford to take any chances. I assure you this is hardly business as usual here at the Institute. A mere fluke! Our security system is virtually impenetrable. It'll take a lot more than a hoverboarding hood to pull the plug on this operation. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh! Darn. Darn, darn. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe we can put a stop to him. Gotta go this way? Yep, okay. And, uh... Now, please stand by for an important message from the Institute's Chief Inventive Officer, Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh, no! Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're successfully cross the space -time. Watch out! Continue. He's we'll right behind hurry, you! Though. With Biff still on the loose, anything could happen. Oh, no. Hello? Hello? Hello, Dr. Brown! <laughs> Biff, how in blazes did you get in here? Why don't you ask these bozos? Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride. Tannen! You shouldn't be here in the present! We've got to get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first, I'm gonna take the little joy ride. No! Biff! Love to stay and chat, Doc. I just ain't got the time. What am I saying? I got all the time I want! Ha! <laughs> Unlock these gates, Tannen! Lost the bye bye! Oh, no. So Biff could cause some major He's trouble. Time travel vehicle. This is terrible. He's going to alter time. History as we know it will be completely obliterated if he does something we could wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the eight passenger time vehicle. That's it. I'll just hop in it. Great Scott, what am I thinking? I travel like I'm right in my own office. There's no way I can get into that time machine. Hold on a minute. I can get to it. But my time travel volunteers. You and you and you. You're my only hope. The no, just, just time me. The vehicle is just beyond that door where you're standing. I can pilot from my remote control from here. But I'm going to need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring this back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when this may be leading us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. All right, well, quite the introduction to this ride. Let's get going, we're going into the big vehicle. So I just interact with it. Oh, here we go. Back to the future, the ride will begin shortly. Can I ch pick a seat? Uh, oh, right here. I, I guess I'll go with this one, so I can be as close to the middle as possible. This get is in. so cool. Get Watch in. Step. Hurry up. Hurry up, get ready. Don't worry about a thing, you're in good hands. Oops. I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter, we're a mission of universal proportions. Doc. Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean, when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled to. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. All right. Or about the time travel. Don't forget, when you see Biff in the time vehicle, accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump it. Accelerate now to 55 miles per hour. 65, Ooh. 75. We're going. Here we go. Whoa, Whoa watch out. 2015. 2015. Let's get him. Oh man, whoa, we're flying! We're on a flying car right now! 
Uh-oh. Whoa. We're chasing him. Oh no. Oh no. Watch it, watch it! I'm not the best driver. Whoa. Oh no, oh no. Oh, into the tree. Oh no! Why do they even have wheels? If we're just flying anyways. Come on, we're just trying to bump him. Oh, he's changing time, so are we. Oh, we crashed into the clock. Where are we going now? Whoa. Like we're a million years back in time, and that's Hill Valley below us in the Ice Age. No back way. Then? Come on in. Pull up, pull up. Pull An ancient Ice up. Age cave. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, watch out! Oh no! Avalanche! Or not, I guess it's a cave in. You know what I mean. Whoa! The engine's dead! Not good. Watch out! We're about to fall! This is too much! Come on! 88! 88! <laughs> I guess 80 miles per hour backwards still works. Prepare yourselves, people. I suspect that the primeval hill valley that we're about to enter could be a pretty rough place. No longer an ice age. We're going into an active volcano. Oh man. Oh. Home? Oh, there is. A dinosaur! Oh. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Whoa! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. It looks hungry. There's Calm another! Down. Calm down. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Hey, 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 I'm hit. I'm hit. I know, Biff. What in blazes? What's those jaws? Uh-oh. We both gotta get out of here now. We do. Oh no, we got gobbled up. We've been swallowed. Ah. Hang on. We just became dino lunch. Luckily, they spit us out. Oh, we're deeper in the volcano now. Watch out! Come on! Oh, I think we saved us! The impact between the two vehicles should send us straight back to the Institute. Oh man. Straight back to the Institute. We made it! Thanks, Doc Brown. You saved my life! Butthead! Get your meat hooks off of me! You did it! Not only did you catch Biff and save the universe, but you prove that my latest invention is a success. Go forth, time travelers, and remember, the future is what you make it. Aw. Well, there we go. We survived. That was so cool. Oh, man, I love Back to the Future, and that ride was so awesome. So there we go. We got through, I'm gonna put this over here. But that was the Back to the Future ride, and I guess if we go this way, we might run into a gift shop or something, but that was such a cool one. Lots of story to it too, and here's the doc. Hey buddy. So we just saw you before. So what other rides are there around here? We just did the Back to the Future, down by Amity Island, we have the Jaws ride. Ooh, how about we try this one? To get to the Jaws ride, it looks like I might have to quick travel over here. All right, so here we are, if I pull that map back up. Jaws is number seven, so it's, it's more so up there, but we can run up there, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. This is so cool. So we're at Amity Falls, I think it said. And the Jaws ride should be somewhere up this way. We get the boardwalk snacks if we're hungry, which I'm doing okay right now. Whoa, there's Jaws! Terrifying. Uh, but I think this might be the Jaws ride, right? Hi. 
looks like it. Captain Jake's Amity Boat Tours. Would this be it or is this its own thing? No, I think this is it. Okay, let's go to it. Um, Right over here then, to scuba dive docks. What if I wanna just ride the ride? I think I go this way. Yeah, seems like it. All right, so start with Jaws. I will do this one right here. All right, there we go. Jaws will begin shortly. This is such a, a, an iconic ride for sure. Such a famous movie too. All right, well, I'm ready to go. Welcome everybody and happy 4th of July. Hop on board, my name is Dean. Hi Welcome Dean. aboard. We're really close, I didn't think we'd be this close together. Now I know that our town's got a little bit of a reputation, but don't you worry about anything because we have come equipped with a TNT launcher. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we won't be needing it. No one's seen a great white around here in 49 years, so we're gonna be fine, we'll be fine. Now let me just check in with base, make sure everything's clear to go. Base, are we clear to go? Uh, this is base. You are clear for departure MA6. Have a good trip. Excellent. Whoop. <laughs> Give me a second. Old girl's getting finicky. There, off we go. Wave goodbye to your friends and loved ones, everyone. Bye. You're my friend now. <laughs> now, as I said, my name is Dean, and I'll be your guide for this scenic tour of Amity Island. All right, everybody, scenic. welcome to Captain Jake's Amity Boat Tours. We are the best and only scenic boat tour on the island. And we'll be visiting the actual spots where back in 1974, the beast we called Jaws devoured all those poor islanders. Now, the first item of interest over on your port side is the home of our very own chief of police, Martin Brody. After Whoa. blowing up that monster of a shark, he became a legend in his own time. By the way, in that movie they made about our little shark episode... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Base, this is Amity 6. Did you copy that transmission just now? Sounded like Gordon on Amity 3. Over. Uh, 10 4, we copied. He can't be too far away. He was headed back in. Okay, we're, we're picking up his distress signal now. Keep an eye out for us. I'll call Chief Brody. Base clear. Copy that. We'll see. What on earth? That was weird. Oh, Whoa! No. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, base, this is Amity 6. Amity 3 is sinking by the lighthouse. I repeat, Amity 3 is sinking, and I don't see any sign of the crew or passengers. I don't know what could have done this except... No way. There he is? Uh, shark! 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 Oh, my. Uh, base, he's under the boat. What do we do? Oh, there he is! Fire, fire! Uh, Whoa! Uh, face this, Sammy Dick. Tell Chief Brody we're gonna hide in the boathouse until we get help. Uh, we'll be safe in there in the meantime. Uh, Whoa. Everyone okay? We're okay. We're okay. We're gonna be okay. Let's see. Where can we tie up? Hello? Anybody in here? Oh, huh. Spooky. Did you hear something? Uh, come on. Can you hear something? We gotta go. Come uh -oh. on, come on, old girl. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got this. There. All right. Off we go. No. Oh, oh. Look out. What happened? Whoa. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Scary. I know that's my expression, too. That's right behind us. <laughs> Ten minutes. We're gonna we be have stuck that kind of time. ten minutes. All right, guys. I don't see him. But uh, whoa, there it is! It's gonna take uh, a chop out of this boat, no problem. Oh, whoa! Whoa, this, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is very bad. Whoa! Come on, guys. We gotta get away from this gas dock. We gotta go for it. Come on. Are we going through it? We go. Hang on tight. I'm hanging on to this thing of seatbelts. Looks Ooh. like we made it. Hold tight, everyone. We Oof. should be okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't see him anywhere. I think that's the last we'll see of him. <sighs> we're gonna right. we're gonna try and get off of that old fishing shack and go off one row at a time. Everyone, for now, just stay seated and keep your hands in the boat. Finally, be able to get out of here. Oh, and uh, watch uh, out there for it that is. high voltage there it is. barge. I think watch out! 
Here he comes! Get ready to fire that thing. Ah, it's right there! Oh, it's chewing the electricity thing. Oh man. I think I got it. Does anyone see it? There! It was, whoa! Oh, it's torched! Oh, that's disgusting! But we roasted him! Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, Chief. This is Amity Six. Call off the Marines. We are coming home. Hooray! What an experience that Whoa. was. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you all for your incredible bravery today. But um, we don't need to. We don't need to tell anyone what happened out there. All right? If that fish episode leaks, that'd be it for Captain Jake and a lot of the other businesses around here. So just keep it to yourselves. I mean, after all. We did get him, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah we did. Well, on behalf of Captain Jake and Universal Studios, thank you for helping me conquer Jaws. I'll see you next time. All right, well, thank you for getting me back safe. That was terrifying. So that was the Jaws ride, but we still have a few more I wanna do here. It looks like we have Jurassic World and King Kong, but unfortunately the Shrek ride isn't available. I didn't know that was not here, so we'll have to see, but I definitely wanna get these two rides done, so let's try Jurassic World next. Jurassic World, I guess, maybe from over here, if we take a look. So yeah, Jurassic World, the ride is 16, so if I just go over here, I should be able to run over, no problem. All right, well, this is the Innovation Center. I don't know if that's the same thing. Yeah, that's sort of the wrong way, we need to go over here. This place is so cool, though, it's all just based off of specifically Jurassic Park. So I guess we wanna go this way? Uh, seems about right. Yeah, we've made it. So there's gotta be a way in somewhere. Here we go, Jurassic World, the ride. This Indominus Rex is genetically engineered by something, I don't know who's talking right now, but, whoa. Here we go, Jurassic World, the ride, the entrance. This is so cool. I guess we wanna go down this way? Hi there. So I guess I could just interact with you and try to pick a seat. I think I still wanna be in the front for this one. I don't know if I've ever seen this ride before, so this is really cool. Yeah, we're on this little boat. And I'll just sit here in the front. Here we go. So maybe we'll get to see a bunch of dinosaurs. What does that say? You are now entering Jurassic World. Or about you were cleared for the visitor center. Have a nice ride. Electrified fences, unrestrained animals. Very relatable. Uh, whoa, we're going way up here. Is there not gonna be a narrator for this one? Whoa, hold on. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. So cool. In the age of dinosaurs, a vast ocean was home to an explosion of life. At the top of the food chain, sat the Mosasaurus, apex predator of the deep. I guess I have to play narrator. You are clear for entry. I don't know why I can't hear them. Whoa. Look at this one. Let's go like this aquarium here. Whoa, the shark is not Jaws though, right? I've already dealt with enough Jaws for one lifetime. So cool. Whoa, whoa! Did that just eat the shark? That was huge. Oh man. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it just ate the shark in one gulp. No way. Where's it gonna go now? That thing is way scarier than Jaws. <laughs> That's like Jaws' big brother. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get out of here. Security check last integrity in sector four. <laughs> I think the integrity is uh, lessened. Where are we going now? Uh, I guess over this way. In this little cave. Oh, hey, we got other dinosaurs popping up, it seems. Ah, in a few seconds, we will be entering herbivore valley. Where plant-eating dinosaurs roam freely. Keep an eye out for the 
Parasaura something who likes to splash around in the water. You may even see our new baby Stegosaurus, one of the latest additions to our Jurassic World family. Very cool. Definitely a sight to behold. Hi. <laughs> I like this one. So these are all herbivores, they only eat plants. In a moment, you will be entering Predator Cove, home to some of Jurassic World's most powerful creatures. Whoa. So I'm guessing T-Rexes and the like. Spooky. Whoa, hey, look at you! <laughs> Popping out from the water. We have a containment alert. Oh no. We show multiple containment failures, multiple systems fail failing. Not good. Right as we're entering Carnivore Cove. Uh oh. Indominus Rex, it's broken out. The gyrosphere. Whoa. Hold all boats in safe zone. This is not good. Look at those little guys. They have a hat. Did they take it from someone? Sir, we have one boat in the cove, just past the return point. Sir, blue is out of containment. Active containment unit to Predator Cove. ACU to Predator Cove, code red. There's something in there. I have systems going down across. Oh man, not good. Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Claire Deering. Please remain calm. We have assets out for of containment and Help is on the way. In the meantime, please put, oh no. Security system deployed, whoa, there it is! They will get you to safety. The Indominus Rex has escaped. Please remain in the boat and stay calm. Active control units are on their way. I'm trying, but look at this thing! We have to find blue. We are tracking, there is, do not panic. Tracking multiple targets. We are in full containment failure. Not good. More systems are going down. Please don't eat me! Whoa. All right, what's this looking at us for now? We're going up here. This is so scary. Lock it down. Send rescue team to access level six. Now. Where am I? Am I on? Is this on? Listen to me. Do not panic. If you can see me, I need you to keep your hands inside the boat. The slightest movement will set these animals off. No. Whoa. Uh-oh. Don't move, don't move, it's gonna see me. We're going down this way, whoa! Oh no, we got more predators. Gotta be careful out here. Uh, hi. Don't move a muscle. I think we're safe, we're past it. There's some more of them. Dinosaurs, ugh, they're roaming free. Listen, if you can hear me, I've sent help. Keep an eye out for blue. the T-Rex, the Velociraptor. Not good. They look really hungry. Keep it going. Whoa, whoa. No, another T-Rex. What do we do? Uh, Watch out. <laughs> that was a close one. We're going down. Oh, we made it through. Wow, okay, I guess we got out of there. That's a relief. So I think we made it out and we're, we're yeah, we're back out in Universal Studios, that's good. Oh man, what an experience. All right, so yeah, I guess we head over here. I don't know why that one didn't have a narrator. I just, you know, read it out for you guys, but. I'm sure it might just be a glitch or something, but we got the gift shop. That's great. All right, so as soon as we can, we'll just hop off of here and check, th check things out over there. Maybe we can find a new uh, little souvenir to wear. That was really cool. See a lot of stuff around here. Ooh, let's do the Jurassic World, the ride cap. That seems fun. Could do a blue backpack too? Sure. Let's see. I could put the cap on, just like that. And then, is there a way to put the backpack on? Um, oh yeah, whoa. So I put it on here, and yeah, that's so cute. I love it. 
We have all sorts of new stuff. Okay, so that was the Jurassic Park ride, and when it comes to major rides, the only other thing I see that we haven't ridden yet is going to be the King Kong ride. Right down this way, I guess it's uh, Skull Island Reign of King Kong, number 20. So I'll start here, we'll walk over, we'll go check it out. All right, we've made it. And with this one, whoa, hi. Skull Island, Reign of King Kong. I guess we just go this way. Kong's Banana Path Temple. Eighth Wonder Expeditions Company looking for explorers. Uh, but this is for the ride. I don't know exactly what that is. And maybe that's like a mini game of some sort. I think there's supposed to be mini games at, at some point in it too. But for right now, I just wanna try this ride. Let's go this way. Oh, we've made it inside. This mysterious temple. All right, I'm gonna go this way then. Yep, this is the way to go. Oh, who are you? Spooky. Am I supposed to do something here? Maybe go this way? I think so. These are usually sort of the things that keep people entertained while they wait in line. Oh, hi. Ah. <laughs> Uh, am I going the right way? I have no clue. Whoa, got a bunch of stuff around here. What is that thing? Big spooky scary worm. What is this? Interact with this to, uh, I guess, start the ride. Hi, so I don't know which way it comes in from. I'm just gonna do a middle seat this time. Oh, it goes over there, it goes over there. Let me go in from here. That seems good, awesome. All right, here we go. By the way, my name's Frank. The most people around here just call me Jinx, because I've had my share of unluck. And before you ask, yeah, I heard about it, but I ain't seen no giant angels. Let's try to keep it that way. <laughs> so this guy hasn't seen no giant ape, apparently, but what are we out here to see then? I guess just to enjoy the sights. We won't be running into King Kong here. I'll take his word for it. That definitely won't happen compared to her history with all the other rides. Team one, this is Base. Jinx, are you on route with the replacements and supplies for Team Two? Yeah, Millie. On the way. All right. Well, we're just riding around here. What is that? Did you ever get the feeling you was being watched? Spooky. All right, here we go. We're heading into this giant temple. I guess we have goggles to put on? I don't have any goggles. Whoa. That was King Kong? What is that? Yeah, me too. What are those, the giant bats? Wow. Put that up over there. Oh, hey. Hiya, hey. Hey, Jinx, park your truck over there. Good timing. We're gonna need help putting up the traps. Joe, how's it look back there? Hold on, I need more light. Whoa. Oh, great. Oh, no. All oh, the bats are swarming. Oh, not good. They're attacking. Whoa, watch out. All right, we gotta go save them. Whoa. I wish we could sort of see in front of us a bit better. Oh, there she is. What is that? Oh no. Watch out! Whoa! These things are terrifying. I don't remember these in the King Kong movie. Giant spiders too? Oh no, this is a nightmare. We gotta get out of here. More of them are coming. No! Drive, 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 punch it! 
Does anyone have any bug spray? Come in! Come in! Come back! We called everyone back! There's dinosaurs here too? Oh, good. No plans. Whoa! They're chasing the, 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 the truck! They're really fast! Why are there dinosaurs on every single ride? Whoa, here we go! Whoa! Oh man. Oh, there's another one too. Watch out! Don't move, don't move. Whoa! There he is! It's King Kong! Is he gonna protect us? Whoa! That was crazy. Uh oh, hi. Uh, whoa, he jumped over us. No way. This is quite the battle. You can do it, King Kong. He's on top of the truck there for a second. Oh, he beats that one. I got a shot. Whoa, we're tipping over. What is happening? Whoa, we're falling. Come on, come on, what do we do, what do we do? Does this thing have a parachute? Oh, we're like swinging on a vine, I think. Ah! Oh, we're crashing in. We're still dangling by the rope. Ah, spider! Whoa, he caught us! Thanks. What is going on now, you're jumping over? How do we get out of here? Oh wow, we're going into a cave. That was crazy. Oh, there you are. Hi. Holy cow, he's right in front of us. Nobody pants. Scary. Oh, no. Please be nice. And you saved us before. You seem pretty gentle. We're just gonna keep okay, going. Panic. Don't mind us. He wants us All right, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't he push his temper. Kate, you're alive. I know, hard to believe. How are you doing? Well, let's see. Team one, are we all right? I'm feeling okay. Well, you made it through. This time. If you're ever in the Big Apple, look me up. Now beat it. After we come to a complete stop. All right, we made it through. That was such a crazy ride. Don't forget your gear. That was a lot different than the one I know of. Team in the West Gorge. You up for another run? Sure, Millie. They call me Frank. I think my luck has finally changed. All right, we made it through another exciting ride. That was so cool. So with that, I think we've explored every major ride in the park, which is awesome. So if we go back over here, and talk to Woody again, I wonder what he'll say now. Of course, we still have all the universal letters we could find if we wanted to, which, you know, maybe. I sort of wanna see. But yeah, over here, there's Shrek, and there's Puss in Boots. So I guess they're making a Shrek ride? Maybe it's not done in real life either. Hi, Shrek, how are you? <laughs> and we got Donkey. Stay out, beware, ogre. When is this gonna happen? Pardon our dust. So I guess they're still building this ride. Maybe the same thing is happening in real life too where they're still putting it together. Very curious. Anyways, looks like, oh yeah, I can put the letter right up there. Cool. So if I talk to Woody again, well, look who it is. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Letters? Considering how many visitors, I mean, things we lose in Jurassic World, asking the staff around the innovation center there wouldn't be a half bad idea. Just try not to make a wrong turn or else you could end up as Dino Dinner. Okay. And then if I had another question, activities. If you're looking to play some classic games, check out the carnival they've set up in Amity, Amity Island. Cool. So I guess there is more to do, but I think the main thing for me was checking out all the rides and seeing the different characters. And at least we can say hi to Shrek. Why are you walking in the, in the fountain? <laughs> guess you just wanted to take a quick bath, a little bird bath there. All right, well, yeah, definitely. If you guys want to see me explore more of Universal Studios, feel free to let me know. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Minecraft Fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.